All right, there's a lab apparatus here. We can see a picture. There's a wall, rigid wall that doesn't move. There's a floor that's, oh, frictionless. And there's a spring that's compressed. And there's a block connected to it. So when we compress the spring, we're going to store some energy. And then when we release it, boom, it flies away. So we'll start off with uh, EPE. And then work's going to be done on this block. It will gain KE. So our starting energy is EPE, and our ending energy is KE. The spring starts off with EPE, and the block will end up with KE. You lose one form and go to the other. So we will, whoops. We can highlight these, or we'll just rewrite. That's going to work for this. The EPE lost is the KE gained. So the EPE of the spring is 1 half KX squared. The KE of the, of the block after the fact will be 1 half MV squared. 1 half MV squared. We have some cancellation. 1 half will cancel 1 half. And rewriting this, I'll place V on the other side. MV squared is K x squared, dividing through by m on both sides. We'll be able to see that v squared is kx squared over m, so we could write v equals the square root of kx squared over m, but many people will write it this way. Because we have something squared under the square root, under the radical, you just pull it out and write it as itself. It will be equal to x times the square root of k over m. So now let's take a look. We know the compression of this spring is 6 centimeters, so that's x. We know the mass of the block is 5, and the spring constant is also given as 1200 newtons per meter. Ooh, another tough spring. So x is the compression, m is the mass 5, and k is 1250. When we sub the numbers in, x is the compression, that's 0 0.06 meters, times the square root of k, 1200 newtons per meter, divided by the mass, 5 kgs. So we're our numbers in, we're good to go, but let's take a minute and think about what's going to affect the speed. If this spring gets compressed farther, we'll have more EPE, which will give us more KE, it will make it come out faster. If this spring is stiffer, it will come out faster because we would have more EPE which gets translated into more KE makes it go faster. Now if this block were more massive if the mass goes up the final speed that it would achieve goes down because remember that block requires larger blocks would require more force to move and this spring applies a fixed force based on its spring constant and its compression. But anyhow, that, that uh, larger masses will have more inertia. They won't come out as fast. So if we reveal the answer to this, save us from doing the math, we'll get 0 0.06 times the square root of 1,200 divided by 5. It will come out at 1.84 meters per second. Again, where we do not perform the computations, press pause, grab a calculator, show that the answers, or show that the solutions will work out to the answers. It will help you gain confidence in your problem solving. That's a good thing.